Okay, I've made brief mention of using project themes in your projects here, but let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so in the screens area here on the left, I'm going to go ahead and click project theme to bring up our screens dialog. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the default theme here. Let's say we'll use the CD-ROM theme. Okay, so as you can see, it's changed here in our preview window. You can toggle between the different preview images. And we're going to go ahead and click on the edit button here. Now let's take a look at some of the stuff that we can edit for a theme. I'm going to maximize this screen. Okay, we've got a live preview and we can see our changes in real time. We're going to take a quick look at what some of this stuff does. As you can see here, we've got customized colors for our fonts and for the different uh, controls, etc. So we can actually change the colors of the buttons, the shadows, the highlighting, and so forth. And additionally here, we've got the for the text settings for all the different portions of the screen. So if we go ahead and put on our custom colors, for example, you take a look at what that does to the screen. It completely changes everything. We've got like a nice gold theme here now instead of the silver theme. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on to the gold theme. I love that. That looks great. Now we've got a top banner and a side banner and those are pointing to this image here. I'll go ahead and just make an annotation um, for this. Uh, let's see here. Sorry. There we go. So this is our top banner image and if I go into the side banner area here I can make an annotation and this is our side banner image okay so that's what um, those file references point to is those particular images alright now we can add a body image if we like this is optional let's go ahead and take a look at what that does now you remember when we created our theme we created those two optional body images those background images let's go ahead and select one that comes with the CD-ROMs theme as you can see it looks fantastic you add that on there and it really sets your your installer apart for me personally I really love that I mean this look to me is just so dynamic and attractive it's really something that the clients will notice and of course it's worth mentioning here that what you're trying to do is set your installer apart by being really dynamic um, and showing them what you've got but at the same time you want it to be familiar enough that the end user is going to trust your installer and install your software so you don't want to get too radical you basically have some some parameters that you want to work within but within those parameters um, applying these themes is a fantastic way to really show people what you can do. Okay, so that's with the background image. Let's take a look at the fill footer feature. Now, as you can see, the, the footer area here is still sort of a goldish kind of silver color that goes with the um, theme. But if we change this fill footer option to true, you can see it actually lets the image stretch back out there into that area. So, for example, if we were to get rid of the footer separator by changing the footer separator pull down to false, You'd see that would create like a seamless area here that would uh, look really dynamic for the top banner thing. Of course, for the side banner thing, you'd want to bring back that footer separator to create that uh, area there. Now, the separators here are optional. Of course, you can, you can tweak them if you want. Let's go back to the top one and take a look at what the header separator does. That's that gold line you can see in there. And when I remove it, you can see it just creates a nice smooth sort of transition there. It's kind of nice. I, I rather like that. For example, for this screen, I like this design. I think that looks fantastic. So you can fool around with those and see what works best for you. Now let's take a look at the offsets. The offsets actually apply to this text that you see on the screen. So we can move that around um, to work with our theme. Now for example here, let's just take a look at, at one example. We're in the top banner screen. So let's look at the top banner offsets. If I wanted to move our text to the left, for example, I would just go ahead and reduce this left value by clicking on it or by typing it in. As you can see here, I've brought our text right up to the left side of the screen. Obviously, that's not what we would want, so I can just go ahead and move it back to where it was. And I'll just type in manually 15. Now, as you can see, there's also values here for the top, so I can actually bring our text up higher or bring it down lower and so forth just by clicking there. And it's a, a very, very handy way to get everything tweaked just right and make sure that your installer is totally customized. Now what's really important here is to, to note is that Setup Factory 7.0 is the only professional install maker on the market that lets you do this. I mean most install makers won't even let you put in your own images so this is worth noting that this is something that's really special about this particular piece of software and um, 
basically if you're making installers for your clients and whatnot and you start putting their custom art and brand images and whatnot into their installers and, and really customizing things like the fonts and the layout and whatnot you're gonna see a reaction from them that's it's gonna be overwhelmingly positive they're gonna be really impressed because your stuff is going to be it's gonna really stand out against their competition and if you're building stuff just for yourself well the same things apply of course your stuff is gonna be really top-notch so at any rate um, for our discussion here of using themes in your projects um, this is how you edit the different portions of your theme of course the font settings are in here too and you can go ahead and come in and fool around with those um, I'm just leaving mine as the default here because again it it's, works really good it's set up it's ready to go but you can go ahead and play with those and, and see what uh, what you can get going I'm gonna go ahead here and back out of this particular screen here and that's going to be it for this lesson. So we've taken a look at how we can customize our themes even once they're built.